and we are recording again. Hi. Hello. Welcome let me let, let me just say, check something. Yes, it is recording. Uh, so we are doing a little bit of uh, narrating, after outlining, sorting out our notes on collision course, and right now we are sort of. Uh, Thinking back to the notes that we have taken uh, without recording over June and July. And in the previous episode we focused on the beginning of the story where we have two dudes. Uh, a scribe aka data retrieval uh, specialist and Nali uh, who is a scrap retrieval specialist. Mm -hmm. Both of them come across some curious information uh, and run into each other as that information is uh, being analyzed. So this is this is where this is where I called for a break uh, is where the two dudes meet each other and and talk while in while on board the scribe mothership scribe orders this scribe orders mothership and I think uh, I don't think I've written it down anywhere but I think uh, the scribe uh, this scribe order could also be called Svalbard or children of Svalbard this which which will make uh, some naming uh, naming schemes more uh, more easy or convenient more convenient, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy. Um, yeah. Both my own protagonists as well. I don't. We, I don't. If you look at Mira's Legion, Cal Vaza, Seeker, Destiny's Trials, Split Personality, um, they're all female protagonists. So it's nice to be getting into male protagonists. For change, I think. <laughs> yeah, let let the let the dudes do some important stuff as well. Yeah, man. <laughs> for a change. What's going on? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So saying that, now we now we sort of change. Uh, we change POV a bit now, um, or a lot, and we join Jewel at Harper House, right? I mm -hmm. mean, and there's some more stuff that happens with Scribe and Gnarly. Yeah, and, uh, really and, 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 uh, this is also the, uh, uh, that's, that's also the speculation that we can fit into this uh, episode. So it's like the, what, what Gnarly and Scribe uh, speculate who they try to track down and how they will end up uh, in the path of uh, Jewel Seeker Harper so all all this is fair game now. So it's uh, we we don't have to or like let's not jump straight into Jewel's perspective, but instead let's sort of uh, try to bridge the the thing from the dudes to the free dudes. So I've always been very direct about how I feel. Uh, Gnarly and Scribe are forced out of Svalbard, uh, and and I think it comes back down to that. Information wasn't meant for Gnarly, right? He is also mm -hmm. got people after him who, who want that information. Um, but I don't think they're more likely to intercept him before he gets to Svalbard. They're not going to full out attack Svalbard just to get this information back, I don't think. That seems like a dumb move. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's like what what we have here, and uh, this is this is now more more like active outlining than uh, looking back but uh, so so this is we're we're treading a somewhat not fleshed out territory here but yeah i would think that uh, whoever is trying to stop uh, this information getting out or or stop uh, this information from spreading uh, they would try to uh, address slash intercept slash eliminate uh, the small beans. So mm. if you would attack a big independent organization like Svalbard, it would uh, it would bring attention. Yeah. And I think uh, not bringing attention would be in the interest of this uh, this third party who is trying to you know hush hush this hush these things down. 
and I think we have potentially talked about it we might have notes about it but uh, it would seem that uh, this is a servo against servo situation so yeah. it's like we have so so right now I'm I'm going to jump into a larger scale or like larger sta stage of multiple realities and we have the quote unquote Murphy servo the the dude who has the uh, let's, let's not mince words alien technology that allows him to or that, that he has learned to use for uh, accessing the different layers and different timelines of reality and then there are all of the variations of him in those different timelines some of some of whom and, and I think most of whom uh, we can describe as evil <laughs> or like <laughs> 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 what's his deal <laughs> he's evil <laughs> oh that sorts it out <laughs> so, so 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 yeah uh uh, I, I, I'm, I'm also going to bring in more other storylines here. So, uh, Servo, a.k.a. Dr. Servonius, uh, as our regular characters would come to know him. The first encounter of him, uh, or, or the, the, the first knowledge of him, is that there's there's this evil mad scientist who wants to do evil things and 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 bring great harm to the plucky protagonists who are not part of this story by the way that's that's another story uh, but basically our first encounter our first knowledge of dr Sorvados is is that it's 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 some shady guy who is doing shady things and 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 he's kind of he's, he's bad and uh this might require some input from Kyori, but as I understand, many, many, many variations of of Servo through many, 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 many timelines and 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 realities are doing shady shit. So it's like when you finally get to the quote-unquote real reality and the. the uh, and the the viewpoint servo or the the Murphy station servo, uh, then it's kind of a surprise that uh, that he is actually uh, trying to achieve something uh, beneficial, and and he is of course uh, pulling from the information and knowledge of all his his other selves or all his other variations. Uh, so it's like it's uh, on one hand the Murphy Station servo is out to achieve something good, but on the other hand he he is not above using the information from all the quote unquote bad servos. Uh, but all of these variations of the same character who initially reside in their own uh, reality. Uh, some of some of whom uh, who might uh, be aware of each other, some of whom who might be able to manipulate space space time and jump from uh, jump between realities. Not all of them are out for the same thing, and not all of them are collaborating. So it might very. Uh, I think our sort of working assumption or working theory here is is that. Uh, this list or this information that uh, our uh, collision course protagonists have acquired the sort of the, the inciting incident or the the uh, trigger that sets our uh, characters in motion uh, that this information has been seeded by the uh, by the uh, Murphy Station servo, so from 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 the from the top top dog. <laughs> so in, in s instead of so instead of uh, meddling with a given reality directly, uh, some uh, seeds of information are sown out, so that the uh, residents of that reality have a chance of finding some finding some stuff out and 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 do some stuff. But at the same time, 
some other variations, some other servo might also be aware of this information sloshing around and they might be interested in uh, reeling it in. O uh, of course, there are all the there are, there are options here. So this is all very vague and very sort of mm -hmm. very general, very general. But uh, uh, but there are always the sort of uh, let's call them in uni uh, not in universe but within reality uh, interested parties. So we also have like big corporations and uh, uh, and bad dudes who who might. Uh, never become aware of all this reality mincing stuff and who are still sort of uh, interested in some of the dealings. So th this might also be the case here. We don't know yet. But in, in either case there will be a third, fourth interested party who by this point has become aware that this one guy and this other guy have run into some information and now uh, they, their interest would be to uh, stop this information from reaching too far. So this is, this is, this is the whole point. It's like there is some, somebody, somebody out there who, uh, who doesn't want this information to spread or, or who is using this information. That, that is also an, another option. Okay. Uh, you covered a lot of ground there, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and nobody will uh, and nobody will comprehend it. <laughs> <laughs> we walk so far, but no one will ever know why. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 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 yeah, all all this so, sort of uh, brings us back to our guys uh, leaving Svalbard, mm -hmm. and I would think that either. Uh, either they have uh, the results of this data analysis or either something forces them out but but basically uh, this is where they will try to track down uh, the people who are listed in those uh, documents or in in those info bits that they have found okay now I now, now you try though. I don't know who those people. Well, I can't top what you've just done. That was rather <laughs> impressive. Uh, but uh, regarding the list of potential people, um, I've got no idea how we can populate. I've got one name, Fortune. That's it. <laughs> uh, well, well, we don't. Uh, I think we don't even have to know the others because Fortune is the only one that they have a chance of finding because everybody else would be dead. So it would be uh, uh, the the idea here is that uh, as they try, as our two guys try to look into it, look into this list, uh, look into the people, uh, they will start finding out that uh, oh this this one's dead, this one's dead, this one's missing, this one's dead, this one's dead, this one's dead. This, one's dead, this is. Uh, MIA, this is dead. So, so it's like they, they, uh, yeah. So they don't physically go to these locations. They can just sort of cross-reference stuff on a thing and be like, "Oh, these guys." Uh, I, I think they could visit a few places. Okay. So it's like, uh, uh, so it's like maybe, maybe they visit uh, like one or two places, and then, uh, uh, then they will be able to cross-reference and uh, and learn that wait okay this one's dead this one's dead this one's dead so so I, I would I would I would think that I would want to have uh, some field work involved mm -hmm. because like okay, yeah. uh, otherwise it would be too quick I was thinking all field work and I was like <laughs> no, 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 no 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 just some some field work and some cross referencing fantastic. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So cool. I would I would combine it. Like I, I I wouldn't want to send them uh all the way everywhere. But <laughs> uh but like they would have to start somewhere. Mm hmm And uh they could like pick some place that's relatively nearby so it would be like you know easy to reach or like easy easier to reach so they they would 
they would try they will start with the most convenient uh, places first and and then like oh wait uh, this is uh, this is more difficult to get to and and then they will start uh, referencing and maybe maybe uh maybe even ordering may maybe even putting in a data order for the other uh, other scribes out there or so or something so basically yeah, yeah. there is there there is uh, i i can see opportunities for uh organization to organization mm -hmm. uh collaboration here so just I just like uh, between the uh, bounty hunter agencies there would be some sort of collaboration going on between the scribe agencies yes it's like seeker and heron i was going to say it's an opportunity for s for the character to use something that's unique to the character which is good mm -hmm. like he's he's the one with the contact so mm -hmm. yeah cool mm -hmm. we couldn't have done that with any other character so i think using the character's unique points is strong um mm -hmm. don't know where that came from but it's good um at length the boys end up uh, on Fortune's tail, and that eventually leads them to our girl, Jewel. Mm -hmm. And Jewel is currently residing in Archaos 4, was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so uh, Ar 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 Archaos 4, uh, at the end of Sika, she was the one who, who was put in charge of the Harper house because uh, even though there are technically two more heirs, she's the only one <laughs> who, can, who can use the inheritance because the others are fugitives. <laughs> And uh, and so she is currently technically in charge of the Harper House and the info <laughs> uh, and the trading routines as well as the enforcement, and she totally sucks at it. She's doing a bang up job, man. <laughs> yeah. So I think we I even have a document here that situation notes. Yeah, I don't have text notes for it, but I have situ situation notes. Jewel is bad at managing. <laughs> 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 and now, if uh, if you want to do uh, a jewel and the Eclipse thing, uh, then before you do that, I will mention that Eclipse is also a character carrying on from Seeker, and Eclipse is the uh, sort of street nanny <laughs> of Jewel. Mm -hmm. So she is like the local mentor uh local mentor who trained Jewel on the streets where after Jewel had already started running away from home uh, Eclipse was training Jewel and by that she was fulfilling Jewel's mother's instructions so it's like uh, Jewel thought that she had run into these cool cool wild people in the streets and learning skills from them yo but actually it was all set up for her so it's like there's there's more manipulation going on so yeah Eclipse is like the street runner street, street gang uh, honcho slash mentor trainer uh, and Harper Confidant. And there's uh, she, and, she and Jewel are sort of training at Harper House, and Eclipse is asking Jewel some very pointed questions, but they're not. Re she's not really being um, unfriendly. She's really just trying to get Jewel to think. Mm. Right? And, mm -hmm. uh, she's not really being nasty about it. She just mm -hmm. really wants Jewel to be the best she can be essentially and and if she can't run Harper House then she needs to admit that mm -hmm. and 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 pass pass the responsibility of that on to uh, the more the right yeah departments, for example. yeah so it's like the goal is not to shape a leader out of her if she doesn't have any people skills and or leadership skills mm -hmm. but it's more like uh, working out a working solution 
And uh, another thing to bring up, I feel, is actually a, a character trait that, that follows uh, three of the POV characters, the three main POV characters. Because mm -hmm. they're all very isolated people in and of themselves. Like Gnarly, Scrap Merchant, self-isolation deal at the Void Cloud kind of thing. Um, Scribe is very much on his own in solo missions mm -hmm. and he returns to the base and that's really where he socializes the most I think um, and then he's off on another mission and Jewel in Seeker I mean her shuttle was very much single person and mm -hmm. I mean she didn't even want to spend time during traveling that was all in uh, stasis and that I feel would be very you wouldn't know it but be very isolated as well uh, so the three characters that we're following are very isolated I think and that's going to be an interesting thing to play on here and I think that that plays into Jewel especially well in the fact that because she doesn't really have these sort of social skills or she doesn't want to have these sort mm -hmm. of social skills uh, she must come to the understanding that this isn't her this isn't what she wants mm -hmm. to do so she needs to pass it on to the partners or give the partners the responsibility mm -hmm. um, uh when it comes but to I, yeah I but but don't know if that happens immediately i think that's, yeah, yeah. that's a long term thing that you have to come yeah to yeah i would say that's like a long character arc uh when it comes to skills though it's like uh, when nolly the the scrap dealer is good is kind of good good with people and able to utilize his uh, keen eye on technology to interact with people then for Jewel, uh, instead of the uh, instead of the people skills, there is etiquette skill. So I, I think this is this is what we have mentioned somewhere in the notes or some even in the video is that uh, Jewel might not be good with people, but she knows how to behave. Uh, mm -hmm. She she has that uh, trade house etiquette. She knows how to how to walk, how to talk, and 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 what expressions to use. So like even though it's all learned and all sort of it is all an act she knows how to do it mm -hmm. uh, a, another aspect of social uh, of, of dual social so she, it strikes me that she doesn't take any shit when she was dealing with Fen Ferris Fen Ferris F yes ah oh, so close yes when she was dealing with Ferris uh, that was a very like she didn't need to be socially socially uh, friendly in that situation because she wanted something, Ferris was standing in the way of that and she wasn't going to let that happen. Like she it was, was a business she could, situation. She could read what he wanted, like he's mm -hmm. there, wanted money, right, so she could play to that, so I think she's got a sort of... Yeah, like she, she can she can read, yeah, she can read a room, so it's like uh, you do a perception check and you read the clues from the different people and then you apply the behavior that lets you achieve or let lets you get what you want from them uh, in the smoothest way sort of that mm -hmm. that that sort of thing yeah. etiquette uh and um, one other side of it is that during the sort of questioning time <laughs> that eclipse and jewel are having i would feel like jewel at this point is feeling uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, upset, angry, possibly a bit used. She's lost her father, right? Just as things were starting to make a bit more sense. She can't contact Raptor anymore. Fortune is sort of yeah. Fortune and Trista, she can contact them, but they're kind of off grid. Mm -hmm. So, to her, she's like, well, we succeeded, but. At what cost? Like, I've lost contact with Raptor, I, well, I can only talk to him secret message style, and that's not really that convenient. Like, that guy was my mentor, he, you know, looked after me while I was in the Seekers. Uh, Maxis, gone, right? Uh, I would, uh, okay, it's a little bit that, but uh, actually, it is far worse than that, because basically, every person that she either trusted or every person who had uh, some control over her life so far uh, had also been deceiving her so yes, the, the so the fallout 
from uh, from seeker events should actually be far worse so it's like uh, it's it's uh, it's less like when you say she lost her father and now she can't talk to her she hated her father so oh, okay. so so, so it's so it's so it's is what I meant, isn't it? so it's uh, so it's I, I would think it's more about uh, there there's a shit ton of unresolved issues and nobody to, r to resolve them with so it's like all the people that she would want uh, that she would want to face her are unavailable so that's uh, that's that's how I would describe it so it's like uh, uh, it, it's uh, I'm reminded of the comment uh, of a beta reading comment uh, from from Keo is that when uh, when Jewel faces Trista, her mother, the first time after after being an infant, and and Keo was like, uh, well, she's re she's reunited with her mother. How come she's not reacting more mm -hmm. emotionally? Mm -hmm. And and I'm like, <laughs> she doesn't know her. She has yeah. no she has no reason to uh, to respond in. A, uh, uh, She's not gonna give her a hug because there is there there is no basis f for uh, between them to give uh, to give her a hug. So a similar dynamic should be working here. So it's like yes, she had people whom she trusted, who actually manipulated her, mm -hmm. and, and and she has people she hated, who also manipulated her. And it's like this, and 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 everybody was everybody was in it for a conspiracy uh, that she was in the middle, and 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 she would have so so much uh, shit to give to the world, and she can't actually talk to any one of them. Uh, and eclipse, uh, but but here's the thing: eclipse was also a part of that. Yeah. So so in a way, eclipse would uh, would sort of be the receiving end of all that uh, unresolved shit. Mm -hmm. so, like that. so 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 that's 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 sort of the, the dynamic that I see here. Uh, the second dynamic in the Harper House is that uh, the employees of the house, employees and partners, uh, won't uh, won't automatically accept Jewel as the new leader, especially because even though she quote unquote did her job, uh, fulfilled the mission, uh, she has also uh, gotten their prior leader killed and uh, and uh, and basically Whoops. whoopsie <laughs> has <laughs> has has made things more difficult to, uh, for them. And now she can't even uh, uh, she can't even uh, provide them with with proper leadership herself. So it's like mm -hmm. there's there's a there's a shit ton of unresolved shit bubbling up from every corner of the Harper House right now. So I don't know how they meet. I don't know how scribe. And Nali. Uh, we did f work this one out as well, actually. We did. You might need to remind me. Okay. Uh, situation notes: Scribe and Nali track down Jewel. Uh, right. So basically, Scribe and Nali uh, are able to uh, work their way to uh, our chaos form. Mm -hmm. Either t either together or separately, and they will unite on the ground. They will be able to make it to the city where Jewel resides, and there will be basically there there will be a a tavern contact. So it's like they they it, will. In your notes, does it say we can talk about the stuff that we didn't talk about in Seeker as we're traveling through the sort of quote unquote? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, 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 so. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is, this this would be where we see the what's ha what's happening with my camera. <coughs> I think I think it's a connection issue, but some somehow it's. What is it focusing on? Camera. Don't know. 
It's it's kind of fuzzy. Fuck you, camera. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The thought was that this way we can uh, uh, we can explore and examine the side of Archaos that we didn't see Archaos Four, this region of Archaos Four mm -hmm. uh, that we didn't see during Seeker. So there we saw the high rise and the uh, and the, the uh, uh, speeder lines and uh, and the, the private uh, hovercrafts, but now we would be moving on the ground uh, and sort of uh, dealing with the uh, with nooks and crannies and and scum and villainy and all that. <laughs> so so we we, w we would be we would be on the ground level working through the streets. And so Gnarly and Scribe, they're looking to seek out Jewel, and she might get like a message that these these two dudes have just turned up and are asking questions about her or whatever she might. Uh, know. yes. So, uh, not 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 that she might, but she will. Uh, okay. We so we ha we have going. we have actually worked this one out. So when Gnarly and Scribe. Uh, move their way through the underside of the city and and ask questions because they they have no clue uh, where this person might be. Uh, then this quote unquote shadow network activates and the information gets to the Harper house that some some shady dudes are are looking for Harpers. And I have written down here that infiltrate situation. Where Nali and Scribe have to combine their st their skills for the first time. Scribe can recognize a fellow scribe from a different order, and Nali can bargain uh, with them with the uh, "Oh, does does your does your eye always twitch like that? I can fix it for you" kind of thing. <laughs> And and this this is about the place where the notes are running out. So uh, so I have I think I have written here that Jewel comes to them. Uh, Jewel okay. Jewel would sort of be relieved to uh, to leave the fancy house and uh, and the leadership position she doesn't want. And and sort of like, oh, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> uh, oops, what a bummer! I can't be here for you. <laughs> and her her motivation is that uh, Scribe and Nali will inform her that all the people that they've tried to track down have either turned up MIA or or dead. And it, because Fortune is the person that they're really trying to track down, that would make her think that oh, is is. Fortune in danger, mm -hmm. and that's her driving factor for why she uh, joins them. Or you know, mm -hmm. um, your camera has frozen. Oh, has it? Yep. I apologise. Uh, I I think I think I might have connectivity issues. Maybe. <laughs> Mine me? seems fine. Can you still hear my voice? Okay. Yes. Uh, I think okay. I I must close down. Uh, Dropbox, which I forgot before. Give me a second. Network is working. I don't want to open anything. I just want to close it. Mm -hmm. the, the system tray things can be a little bit annoying. But uh, I th I think my connection might be might be a little off because uh, because the camera is acting up and yeah I'm I'm getting suspicious here. Uh oh. Uh oh. So let's once I have closed down Dropbox, maybe let's try to s reach some sort of some sort of point. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Jewel, uh, realising that they need some mode of transportation to get to and from all these places, considering that she hasn't got solitaire anymore, will go to the Harper house and be like, Yo, can I have a ship please? And they're going to be like, Little Missy, no. 
<laughs> Can I take the Ferrari out for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not happening. So, uh, they point her, or she is pointed in the direction of one of Trista's quote-unquote caches that she sort of left in various places across the mm -hmm. systems. And uh, in one of these caches is a ship that is like probably an old beat up probably not in great shape mm -hmm. but suitable for their needs kind of vessel um gnarly can then use his skills to tinker with it mm -hmm. while they're traveling and make it a bit better um and that is where i will because beyond this point i got nothing i got a general gist of what's going on but mm -hmm. not really anything solid so i'm just going to say that the, the lot of them either pile into this ship or codex is able to get into this ship or at least dock onto it somehow and then they go off on the joint adventure eclipse jewel uh gnarly synax inactivated scribe mm -hmm. they go off and do their thing yeah Actually, so we do know what happens but we'll save that for another video when yes. the is better. <laughs> yes so basically this is where the collision leads up to and and where the course continues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. oh. Roll credits. Yes, roll credits. <laughs> okay, I I will wrap up this recording in case I have some issues, and uh, we shall see if we make any more today or some other day. But anywho, thank thank you, kind re viewers, for the patience. Return yep. to us. There might be more recordings. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!